Now, I know this is going to sound obvious, but um, I think it needs to be addressed because sometimes the obvious are the things that people mistake the most. So some people believe that even though most of our relationships via social media are strictly virtual, we should treat them as if they are face to face. So give us give us your take on how strictly social relationships should be handled. Well, I I think, you know, there's there's different ways. There's one is, you know, the, the power of virtual connection is much stronger than a lot of people give it credit for. I've, I've seen the thing where people say, well, it's virtual, so it's not really, you know, it's not. You just, is it somebody on the internet? It's like talking to somebody about like online dating in the you know early two thousands. They're like that's not real. Well, I've connected stronger to people virtually than, than I have you know face to face for the first thirty something years of my life. Where I've met people like Amanda Height, who's a sexy thinker, and Allison Kramer, who's nummies bras on Twitter. That they're you know some of the closest people to me in my life, and it was all started online. I didn't meet Amanda for, and talking to her for over a year and a half online, but when I met her in person, it was the strongest bond that already had been created. And I find social is a really good tool to see what people are like really. You know, it's not a blog post, it's not a polished about me page, it's casual chatter. So a lot of it, most of the time when you meet somebody in person, they're a lot like they are on Twitter, and that's a good thing. And on the flip side of it, sometimes people think they have more of a relationship with you than they do. And that gets kind of dangerous where they, they, they take it for granted or they ask for too much. You know, I had somebody um, uh, like a week or two ago insult a photo of mine, um, you know, from like uh, um, a, a talk I did. Uh, he, compl- he said something about my hair or something where if you're a friend of mine or a buddy of mine that I have from high school still, you take a shot at me. Go ahead. You can throw up mom jokes, sister jokes, hair jokes, whatever you want. I don't even know this guy. He takes a shot at my, my physical appearance, and I just roll back and like, really? Who are you? Not, not who are you in like, you know, uh, how popular or huge you are online, but who are you to me to make a, a, a shot at my looks? Like, it, it's just, it's weird, and people take that step a little too far sometimes. So I think we all have to know our place within our relationship structures to understand, are we to that point where we can do those things? Um, and uh, my answer to, to this guy was, was he wasn't. 